I'm out of shape. Guys, Hawk Von Brian here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I made over $120,000 in one week. And if you stick to, and if you stick with me to the end, I'm gonna show you guys how you can get started and release a blueprint of how you can make 30K in 30 days. They probably ain't got the right people helping them. Look, I'm 31. Here's the best advice I give my teenage friends. It was easy. What can I tell you? It was hard? No, it was easy. You think you can shout me out? <laughs> How you doing? Do it again. Ooh. You on the seat, man? I ain't trying that. Hey, you, you, you think I can do a backflip? Yeah. What I you think? I don't see it. You think I can do a backflip? I, I want to see the backflip first. I don't know, man. I, you ain't about to have me on the world start breaking my neck in front of everybody. I want to try it, though. You going to give me? What's that? Doing a backflip? Yeah. Let's do it. Come on. Man, that was scary. <laughs> I didn't want you to have me on world start breaking my neck. I ain't done a backflip in like five years. So I want to start by saying, guys, I never thought I could make that much money in such a short period of time. I mean, a goal would be, you know, to do $100,000 a month, let alone $100,000 in a week. But just a year ago when I quit my job, I had my own fears. I had my own doubts. Maybe what if uh, things stopped working? Or what if I lost everything? Or what if I had to live in my car or live with family or friends? Um, but I'm gonna break down every single deal that we did within that seven day period to total over $120,000. Uh, but first, I gotta go get me some food, I'm trying to eat a little more healthy, and I need a haircut. All right, so the first deal we closed on uh, the 5th of this month, it was a hotel deal. So we actually bought the property for $75,000 cash. Uh, we put $6,000 worth of work into it. Real light, we just made sure we took care of what the actual lender would kind of flag. Uh, and then we sold the property for $180,000. Now we did give the buyer uh, some concessions. Uh, they were able to get um, a uh, 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 conventional loan, they bought it for 180. The net profit after we walked out of closing was $71,000. So y'all see I'm actually trying to get my life together working out and eating healthy, um, but gotta have something sweet. Put y'all on game. This right here, it's a life hack. This stuff is delicious and it's only 330 calories for the whole pint. You won't feel guilty, smash the whole thing. Social distancing. So for you guys that don't know what a hotel deal is, it's basically when you purchase the property at a discount, but instead of selling it to an investor that needs to purchase at a discount, you sell it to a retail buyer that's willing to pay full price. This uh, strategy is extremely profitable because it allows you not to have to do an extensive rehab and remodel, and you don't have to deal with uh, uh, contractors. It could be a headache. So uh, that was the first deal. The rest of them that rolled in during that week were wholesale deals. Uh, we had one we picked up at $40,000, sold it for $45,000, that was 
closed on the 10th. Another one just like that. We picked it up for 40000 Sold it for 45000 of another 5000 Closed on the 10th. And one we picked up for 10000 Sold it for 12000 as a real small spread of 2000 But hey, small spreads keep the bills, uh, the bills paid. We closed that one on the 10th. Uh, had like a little lot deal. Picked it up at 3000 Sold it for $7,000. Uh, that was 4000 on the 11th. Had one for 10000 Sold it for 25000 That one closed on the, uh, on the 11th as well. That was uh, 8500 Had one. Uh, uh, picked it up for 1500 That was another lot. Sold it for 4500 uh, That was a $2,300 spread. That one closed on the 11th. And then we closed three on the 12th. One we picked up for nineteen five, sold it for thirty one thousand, made ten thousand three hundred on it. Had one we picked up for twenty four thousand, closed on, uh, sold it for thirty one thousand, for a forty nine hundred dollar spread. Closed that on the twelfth, and then the last one that fell in that seven day period, picked it up for fifteen thousand, sold it for twenty six thousand. That spread was eleven thousand, and that one closed on the twelfth. So all of those closed like within that seven day period. Um, when I get back to the house, I'm going to show you guys what you really need to go from one to three deals a month, like I was doing when I was a solopreneur, uh, you know, still with a nine to five, to doing 10 plus deals a month, and also some of the tools that you need to make this happen. So you want to come get crispy like this, y'all need to come to Missouri City, Fresh Fades, hot in my mouth, Shannon, we'll get you right. All right, so I'm back. I was able to go to the grocery store, get me some grub, give me a haircut, feeling better. So... What I want to do is come back to the house and, and break down the things that I learned, the things that I've experienced and really uh, paid attention to the last uh, 12 months to be able to do those type of numbers in such a short period of time. All right. Coming in at number one on the list of things you need to pay attention to is KPIs. So I'm not going to get too deep because I'll break it down on another video, but you're going to get my point. So KPI stands for Key Performance Indicators. And what these simply are, these are metrics. These are tracking metrics to really see uh, what's working and what's not. Uh, when I was uh, kind of doing this you know, years ago, I wouldn't track anything. I would just say, I know I got more money than I did yesterday, so I'm winning, right? <laughs> Guys, you can't get from one to three deals to 10 deals a month without tracking the KPIs. So what's an example? What are you talking about? I never heard of this word or this acronym, Brian. What does that look like? So when I talk to someone and say it's not working, I can't find any deals in my market, uh, first thing I usually ask them is, uh, how many people have you talked to? And can you believe most people don't know how many people they're talking to or they talk to? So that's one of the things. So how many people did you talk to? How many leads did you get? Uh, what we qualify as a lead is that a seller or a homeowner that is that is uh, interested in selling their property, right? And they have some level of motivation. So how many leads did you get? And also, how much money did you spend on that particular marketing channel? Whether you're sending mail, you're uh, cold calling, you're sending texts. You need to know how much money did you spend or invest over a given amount of time, how many leads did you get, um, and how many contracts did you get. And then you can start to manipulate, and from there, it's kind of like just simple math equations with your adjustments. But in a nutshell, I'm going to keep it real simple. KPIs are just metrics for tracking so you can know what's working and what's not. All right, so coming in at number two, which is very important, is going to be leverage. What do I mean by leverage? You need some type of team. It doesn't have to be a big team, uh, but you need some type of team. You need to hire people because trying to do more than three deals by yourself, you're going to drive yourself crazy because with every, every deal, there's things involved. There's taking pictures. There's property showing. There's marketing. There's communicating with the title company. There's negotiation. There's qualifying all the sellers or homeowners that you're calling and the ones that are not motivated, the ones that are, that are, that are uh, disgruntled. So you need uh, to actually leverage other people so you can do more. So that was the next thing. You can't do it all by yourself if you want to grow. All right. So <laughs> number three, the, the third one, this one is funny to me because it's, 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 it's so true. I heard a quote that said, real estate is easy. People make it hard. <laughs> 
right? Because as far as real estate, it's all numbers, all right? The rehab, how much you can pay, how much you can sell it for, comps, all of these are, are, are numbers. Um, so spinning off the last uh, point when I said that you're getting the need uh, to leverage a team, when it comes to leveraging a team, everybody has to be in the same direction. So number three is going to be core values, Anytime that you're working with other individuals, you have to make sure that their core values align with yours. Uh, one thing we do uh, when we're looking to bring team members on is that we're really looking for people to possess the same core values as us because we can teach anybody real estate. I can teach anyone uh, wholesaling real estate, creative finance, right, if they're willing to learn. But what I can't teach is core values. Uh, I can't teach someone how to have a hard work ethic. I can't teach someone else integrity, honesty. These are the things that need to be in check before uh, people start working with you. So core values, please don't overlook core values. Someone can have 15 years of experience. They could have done hundreds of deals and yet they may not be a fit if they do not align with your core values. So don't take it lightly when you're working with other people. All right, so I'm back. So Brian, what are the tools? Guys, here are five tools that I use every single day in my business that help me to earn over $120,000 in seven days. So coming in at number one is called PropStream. If you haven't heard of PropStream, guys, you are missing out. This really changed the game for real estate investors. PropStream is a service that allows you to pull leads like absentee owners, uh, and you know vacant properties so you can find the sellers that uh, possibly motivated uh, in, in selling. Um, PropStream also allows you to pull comps. If you do not have a real estate license, it's going to be hard for you to get access uh, to comps to find out how much you're supposed to offer these homeowners. So PropStream allows you to do that as well. And also, PropStream just released a Driving for Dollars app. Uh, all of the products that I'm going to speak about that we use are uh, listed down below. And I have uh, free uh, trials we were able to get for you guys uh, in most of them. So y'all check them out. So you use PropStream. You're able to pull some lists. And you now have names uh, for potential uh, sellers. How do you get in contact with them? Guys, we use TurboSkip. Dot com. TurboSkip is a skip tracing company. It helps us to get accurate phone numbers. We're able to get in touch with homeowners that no other investors can get in touch with. It was a game changer. We've been using them for about, um, about six, seven months, um, and they were able to help us hit our first $100,000 a month uh, in February, which is the first time we did like $124,600. Uh, so TurboSkip, we give them a lot of credit. They're great to use. Y'all check them out. All right, number three should go without saying Podio. Podio is a CRM. This is a management system that allows you to store all of your leads. So if you talk to uh, a seller, um, you want to make sure that you put that information, all the details in the conversation in one place. When I first started, I would have papers. I would have notes in my phone. I would send emails to myself. I would write on a whiteboard, I would have leads everywhere. And I know I missed out on hundreds of thousands of dollars and so many opportunities. So please don't do what I did. And the good thing about it is Podio, if you go to Podio and you, um, I think there's a wholesale app or a real estate app, you can actually just have a free version of Podio. Um, and it works just fine. I think we used a free version of Podio for almost a year, all right? Yes, that's free. So y'all go to Podio.com and try to find uh, the uh, the wholesale or the uh, real estate app, and you'll save yourself a lot of trouble because you want to be organized. All right, coming in at number four, this is special to me because uh, I actually am the owner of, of, of number four. This is any deal. This is a mobile application. It's on Android. It's also in the Apple Store. We have a, a, a big update rolling out soon is going to be amazing. But we give any deal uh, to our acquisitions managers because it allows you to break down deals. It allows you to not miss out on opportunities. What any deal does, it actually analyzes 
property. So you know exactly how much to um, offer a homeowner. It pulls in the ARV and you adjust the repairs and it shows you exactly how much you can offer a seller. And if it's not a fit for a wholesale deal, it shows you where you would need to be if you if it's a subject to deal. Maybe you want to uh, carry an owner finance deal. Uh, any deal allows you to analyze all of those numbers and also send via email or text a letter of intent to purchase. Uh, it already has the template in there. You can create your profile uh, using the multiple offer strategy with, uh, within any deal was what really allowed me to stay ahead of my competition when I was working a nine to five, uh, being able to uh, close deals that most investors look over. So check out any deal and stay tuned for the new rollout. All right. Last but not least, constant contact. Um, if you haven't heard of constant contact, you may have heard of MailChimp. They do the exact same thing. Uh, convert kit is another one, uh, but they all do the same thing. This is like an email uh, list provider. Uh, what they do is allow you to send bulk emails out. And so when we get a property under contract or when we have a deal and we're trying to market the deal, we have to have some way of reaching multiple people or uh, uh, potential buyers at one time. So you need uh, one of these. Uh, the one we use, you can click the link uh, down below. Uh, but as I said, anything like a MailChimp or anything like this will work just fine. All right, guys, so I hope that gave you guys some type of value. Um, and since you stayed to the end, what I want to do is I want to give you guys a blueprint for 30K in 30 days. And what this is, this is basically if I was uh, dropped out of an airplane anywhere in the United States and I was given a task to make $30,000 in 30 days, this would be my plan of attack. And this is how I would try to make it happen. So what I want you to do is download the blueprint, check it out. Before you even critique it, just follow the steps, be optimistic, and watch the results. If you don't hit your desired goal within that first 30 days, rinse and repeat. Start from the beginning and do it again. As always, if you guys like this video, tap that like button, share it with a friend, comment, engage. I would love to hear your thoughts, and see you in the next video.